Jackie. Hi everyone, welcome back to Show Me How to Win. Today we're playing Role Player with the Monsters and Minion expansion. Role Player is designed by Keith Mateka and published by Thunderwork Games. Let's see who's playing today. Hey, my name is Monique. I'm a singer and I'm, I'm an avid board game player and I'm really excited to be here on Show Me How to Win. Hi, it's me, Allison. Very excited to be back here on Show Me How to Win playing Role Player. In Role Player, Everyone's trying to build the best character there is. Every turn, as each player draft dice and go to the market, they buy armor cards, skill cards, or trade cards to make their characters better and try to earn victory points at the end of the game. They're also trying to match the goal on some of their cards so that they can gain additional victory points. However, with the Monsters and Minions expansion, players can opt to go fight a minion rather than go to the market after their dice drafting phase which makes things a lot more interesting because this adds a new layer of strategies that players can choose. We are actually doing the less random setup for role player, meaning we are each going to start with a set of each color, black, purple, blue, red, white, and green, and one gold die for a three player, and we're actually going to do the setup, and then for who goes first, we're gonna roll for it, okay? Are we ready to play? Yes. Let's do it. Well, today I'll be playing a character, a Wrathborn character, uh, which was the coolest looking one in the deck, so I had to pick it. And uh, I'm also going to be playing a Radical Crusader, who is the chosen one. So hopefully that combo will work out for me. So today I'm playing as Bastia. She's a rogue diplomat gladiator, and I love her because she's a lioness, and lionesses are really awesome. Uh, and so for her skill, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as many skill cards as I can because none of them will change my alignment points. The monks has a really cool ability. When I go to the market, I can actually ch choose to ditch cards and when I do that, I can take an attribute action, which gives me a huge amount of flexibility and incentive to mess with other people. Why did I pick the construct? It looks like a robot, has no hair, so totally goes with the monk thing. So you're playing the Crusader, so you're probably going to be fighting the monsters a lot, right? That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. And then you're playing the Rogue. When using a skill card, you can... I don't have don't to move this, which is nice. I can tap it once, Ooh, once around. That's actually very powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do? I have the Monk, which when I discard a card from the market, I can take an attribute action. So I can, I'm going to focus on trying to meet all my attribute goals. That's so good. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. Huge. All right, so let's roll and see who goes first. Okay. Okay, let's start playing. So our monster color is red. He's a dragon. At the end of the game, we're going to have to fight him. After final dice, each injury token deducts two rather than one. So if you fight the monster and you fail, you're going to have to face consequences. Oh, wow, that's horrible. And he's, he's a 10 health monster, meaning that we need at least 10 to get a point off of him. So yeah. theoretically, right. you could do that with two dice, but I wouldn't approach the monster you're that gonna, unprepared. You're going to have probably so many iron <laughs> tokens yeah, towards yeah. the end. <laughs> She's going to be anything. fine. All right, so here are the four dice Good we're going to start the game with. Oh. Why can't Ooh. I roll that for myself? <laughs> We've got a boost. No, no, nobody, nobody's playing green, so let's put this here. White has to go here. All right, I get the pick first. Let's take a look at the market. So we have the sling, we have confidence, trade cards, we have pickpocket, and we have cunning. Huh. I see a skill card. Oh, man. <laughs> you could take that lovely that one. That is not... Good. I'm going to take this card, this dice, <laughs> and I'm going to take the first chance at the market. Go ahead, Monique. Okay. You want to? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to place this. Uh, thank you, you for leaving this for me. This is nice. <laughs> okay. We're in Oof. business, Bastia. So I'm going to put this here. It's green at six, and it gets me a dollar discount. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Well, I have a choice here. I could go second or I can go last. Hmm. Wow. The boost dice is pretty nice. I know. The boost die is really nice. Ugh, I don't know. She rolls so high, she doesn't need the boost dice. Oh my gosh. Stop bragging over there. <laughs> we you were know, I think this eight, this eight point boost die, I ah, think I'm going to take it. Yeah. So I'll go last. I think I'll go here and flip this over to a five. 
Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so now it is the market phase. I'm going first. The reason I want to go first is there's a card here that is just way too good for, for Monique. Gain one VP for every skill card you have. You're just going to go for skill cards, so I Maybe. just can't let you have that. So I'm going to ditch this card for two gold. Plus, when I, whenever I do that as a monk, I can take an attribute action. So I'm going to take two golds. Clink, clink. And I'm going to take an attribute. I'm going to flip this into a six. All right. And that's my turn. Sorry, Monique. That's OK. I see another skill card right there. So I have this discount from placing in my charisma right. area. So I'm going to use it. I use it now. And I'm going to spend one gold and take this pickpocket. So this will allow me to decrease the face value of one die on my character sheet by one to gain two gold. Do so you want to nice. do it right now? Uh, no, I think I'm going to save it for later. Okay. Yeah. So I'm done. OK. Uh, instead of going to the market, I think I'm going to go uh, hunt the null. Of so course. let's see. The null, I believe that says plus one combat die for each in your constitution attribute row. So I have two of those, meaning I will roll three dice to fight this guy. Here's hoping <laughs> I don't get three ones. Let's go. OK, yeah. well, I got, got ten. 10, so perfect. Just made so it. So I get uh, 3 XP. Yep. And because I'm the Crusader, I get two honor tokens. Nice. The Crusader is brave and therefore gets an extra honor token every time they gain one. So hopefully I'll be fighting a lot of minions, gaining a lot of honor tokens, and I'll have an easy time fighting the big boss at the end. Can we attack? Maybe attack so here card, is a secret that will All right, help the player fight the monsters towards the end of the game. This Let's might change everything. <sighs> okay. Here you oh, go. I hate that. <laughs> here you go. Uh, Oof, I might okay. have to rethink my strategy here. Okay, so as of right now, because she's the only one who has seen it, only she will get the benefit until we. Uh, have a chance to look at it. So even though I might benefit from it from the text, if I haven't seen it, mm -hmm. I won't enjoy the benefit. All right, so that was the end of the first round, and I will refresh the market. OK. What do we have here? Come on, black dice. Ready? Purple, purple. Come on. OK, so we have some sixes. We have some fours. So we have a white. Oh. Four. Anybody? Oh, you're white. Okay. We have a white. gold four. We're just gonna do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go first. So I will probably take the gold because I want to go first. And you get two. I get two coins. Two coins. Yes. Thank you. Are you interested in any of those? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> Jackie. Maybe. Excuse me. I think I am going to go for the red six. I'm going to take this four and put it right here. Now, I just completed the uh, intelligent roll, so I'm going to uh, take one extra gold. Plus, I'm going to roll this and see what happens. I'm gonna keep the five. I'm gonna keep the six. Oh my god! I just reroll a six. That was a total brain fart. I don't know why I did that. I have no idea. Okay, market time. So I'm going to buy first, and I'm going to purchase this sleight of hand, and I got it for a dollar discount because I had that chip, which I turned in, and so I'm gonna buy it for two gold instead of three. So this is a skill. It'll allow me to move one die on my character sheet to any empty space, which is sweet. If I was going first, I would have ditched that card. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I'm strong enough to fight the zombie. So I think I'm going to go to the market and purchase this wand for uh, two gold. And this allows me, it's a weapon, uh, it is a one-handed weapon, and it allows me uh, to gain double the benefit when resolving the location card. All right, so I actually have a full intelligence roll, so I think I'm actually going to fight the monster this time. I can roll three extra dice because I have three dice in the intelligence roll. So I'm going to roll four. A good one for you. Yeah. Let's see how I do. Good luck. I have 14, 15. So I think I beat it. So I'm going to take him. I'm going to take two XP cube, two points. 
and I get to look at this. Alison was really excited when she sees this. So let's see, what it, let's see how you feel about it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. It's interesting. Yeah. It is interesting. Okay. I'll tell you that. Okay. All right. So that is the end of this round, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's. Allison, your first player next round. Okay. So we've got uh, a blue, a gold, a purple, and what are these called? The boost dice? Yes. Let's see how this turns out. All right. Two fours to choose between. Mm -hmm. Five goes at the end. Excuse me. Three goes at the beginning. Uh, I think we're going to have to make the uh, gold four the later one. Right. Person's already getting two extra gold. No mm. skills. <laughs> no, like two traits. Any of these, I'm never rolling again. I think I will take the purple three, if you wouldn't mind handing it to me. Why? That's the color I want. <sighs> why? I think that's why. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it into the intelligence uh, attribute row, which is going to allow me to re-roll it. So let's hope it comes up mm -hmm. better than it did. Oh, a six. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Nice. Perfect. All right, it is my turn next. What is the opposite side of the five? It's a six. I'm thinking if I if it was going to be higher, I wanted to flip it, but it's not really helping me. I think I will just take this blue die and uh, take the four. And I will put it in constitution. Yeah, I'll put it in constitution. And then I will add one to this die. There's definitely a lot of AP in this game, right? Yeah. A lot a of lot. analysis paralysis. We just got started, too. <laughs> it's only the beginning. OK. So I'm going to take this one, because why not? And I don't need blue. So this will give me a lot of money. So this is a four. I get a coin. And I get two more coins for taking a gold die. Check out my money. Yeah, you <laughs> have a lot of money. I'm ready for the market. Okay, actually <laughs> put it here. And yes. so this allows me to increase a die, so I will increase it to a five. There you go. Okay. She has pickpocket and sleight of hand, and she's rolling with the gold. Yes, I haven't yeah. used them yet. I'm going to try to basically get as many skill cards as I can, because none of them will change where I am on the alignment card. Uh, and, and to do that, I need a lot of money. So, Allison, what are we going to do? OK, I think I'm going to go and attack the minion again. Mm -hmm. And that is plus one combat die for each die in my charisma row. So I have two. So I'll be rolling three. Oof, only a six. So it looks like I do get one XP, but I did not uh, beat him uh, hard enough to get a trophy, so he runs away and goes back to the bottom of the deck. Da -da -da -da. Ah, sad. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so that's me. Let's check out what we have here. Mwah. Mm. Let's see who we're fighting. The goblin. Plus one combat die for every three gold you that have. That could be huge for you. Let's see. <gasps> so I think these are all in three, so I need four. We're going to do it. So you're going to roll we're gonna try five to die huge. total. Okay. You've got him. I was counting it, so I, I didn't need find him. a nine. <laughs> okay. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, so I got a math 11, 15, 18, 20. Oh, overkill. Overkill. Yeah. So he's nine. Okay. Nice. So I get uh, two of these and two, <laughs> two more gold. That's funny. Uh, and I think the trophy. A trophy for him. So you get right. to look at so. the attack card. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to see your reaction when you see it. So at this point, we could just flip it over. I'm we, so nervous. We all know it. Can I just, can I read it out loud? Mm-hmm. Fire breath. OK. The player with the most armor cards gains three combat dice. Armor cards. Oh, <laughs> that makes those a lot more valuable. That's, a, that's OK. Some people might forget at the end of the game. So okay, I'm just so going to we'll keep it them. hidden. Yeah. All right, so it is my turn. Let's see the minion. Plus one combat dice for every green die. OK, so I'm not fighting him. So should I buy something or should I ditch something for an action? I'm going to buy Humble. This gives me plus one uh, VP for every boost die. So right now it's one point, hopefully more later. But I do have to move it over here right now. OK, so that is the end of the round, right? Yep. It is my turn to go first. Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll these, see how it goes. 
Okay. Well, even with a boost die, I can't roll high. That's that's, that's <laughs> the story of my life. Well, at least I would have thought that. That was a four. Right? Was it a five? five? It was five. five. Yeah. So I'm actually going to take the three. I'm going to put it in the strength. I'm going to flip it over to an eight. And I completed a roll. I will gain one gold. And I take this card. Uh, let's just do it. We're going to go for a six. This is the most... Uh, Anticlimactic boost die, <laughs> but I get a gold, so wah ha. Huh? Okay, um, I will put this here because I want to get an 18. I think I will do this. Okay. I can use this on the skill. Yes, now, go right? ahead and tap it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this skill. I am a rogue, so I do not need to move my alignment, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Uh, this allows me to move one die on my character sheet to any empty space. So I'm going to move this one here making this slide down, right. and I completed this row. Yeah. You get another coin. OK. Lots of money. OK, I think I will take this six point boost die and fourth point. So I'm going to put this into dex, which allows me to swap two dice. And I'm going to swap these two. So it is my turn to go first. I don't think she's gonna go for that. I think this is a lot more attractive to her. Probably this and that. This is cheaper. This is more expensive. She does have the gold, so I guess it doesn't matter, but it is a two-hand weapon, so I'm going to ditch this card for two gold. And I'm going to take an attribute action, which is going to be a re-roll. I'm gonna see if I can roll this die a little bit better. <laughs> well, <what? laughs> I went from a five to a four. Oh. So I think I'm going to keep the five. Actually, if I go to four, I can flip it. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep four. I don't usually like, like dice games. Why? Dice hate me. I hate them. OK, so I'm next. And these ladies think I'm going to buy something, but really, I should just fight the ooze. Yeah. <laughs> did you see that coming, yeah, did you? You do have it. <laughs> I do have some green mm -hmm. dice. I need two more of these, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Eight? Wait, oh wait, but I can, can I use this? No, that's for the uh, oh, for roll at the end. But I can use this. And re-roll. You could re spend XP and re-roll. So you want to spend your one I'm XP to re-roll the one? <laughs> yes. I, if yeah. this is another Seems one. Seems like a good use of XP. Yeah. I'm going to stay away from all oozes for the rest of my life. Okay. Oh, there she got us. Okay, there did nice. Okay, so we, we defeated the ooze. Uh, and so I get one of these, so I get this back, mm -hmm. what and is the next? I get two coins, and okay. it's not I get a trophy, and I may look at the obstacle. Thank the you. card is the trophy. You get an honor token. Oh, an honor token. Yeah. Thank you. So here we go. Let's see her face. I want to check secretly so you don't know what I'm looking at. Oh. <laughs> mm. It's interesting. We have not seen any armor cards. No. Yeah. So. Not yet. Uh, not yet. But they're going to be pretty valuable once they do come yeah, to market. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it my turn? It's my turn. Yes. So I am going to try to fight the owl bear, mm -hmm. which is uh, plus a combat die for every purple die, and I have two, so I'm rolling three. Oof, seven, eight. What? I cannot read that. Eight, eight is enough. Eight for is you enough. Too. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds yeah, great. Uh, so, uh, by defeating the owlbear, I get one XP and two mm. honor tokens. Good job. Thank you. The owlbear. The owlbear. Owlbear. How about a minion? <laughs> it goes hoo hoo. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> is that how bears go? They go. I don't think so. Ah. <laughs> All right. So, was that, that was the end of the. Round, right? End of the turn. Yes. So it is your turn. Let's oh, back to me. You have more purple dice. Purple. Where? Oh, here's the armor. What do you think Why I pulled? Well, oh, all the armors came out. Oof. I'm going to say a couple of gold, maybe a green. You know? Maybe a blue. There's not a lot of blue like, on the table. I need a red die. You've named all the colors of <laughs> the dice. I'm just kidding. OK, so we have a black, red, blue, and boost. Why am I so stressed out about this? <laughs> I'm going to do this one. I'm going to take this one. No! Ah, so she is. a good day when it. you hear that from Jackie. <laughs> 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 oh, 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you? Um, no. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put this here. Okay. And then I'm going to flip over um, this one. Finally, yes, that's a six. And then I'm going to tap my sleight of hand, which allows me to move it over to an empty space. Nice. And so then this will slide down. All right. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to take the blue one. There you go. Thank you. I can't believe you leave uh, it. At and I'm going one. to put this into intelligence, which is going to allow me to re roll. Ah, three is still better than a one. Did you take an extra goal for completing the roll? Not yet. I just did it. I'll take it right now. Thank mm -hmm. you for the reminder. You're welcome. Okay, so it is my turn. These ladies probably have forgotten that I get extra points for taking boost dice. So, not I. Not that I have any choice between the black and the boost, but I will take this and I will. Uh, okay, I will put it right here, and I will take a goal for completing the roll. Okay, marketing. Uh, okay, I'm going to go uh, try to defeat the harpy, which is plus one combat die for each die in the monster color on my character sheet, which is red. So I'm rolling three. Let's see how this goes. Oof. Seven. Well, seven. Where does that put me? Uh, you don't get to look, but you I don't get, two get XP. hurt. I get two yes. XP. I will take it. All right. Two XP. Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank there you. There you go. I was mathing. So let's buy something. Shopping time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy some leather gloves. Some cute leather gloves. Excuse me. And then armor goes here. Right. Right. Great. We're actually after the same colors uh, when it comes to armor, because you're black and purple. Mm -hmm. so. so it is my turn. I think since my power is I get to, when I discard cards, I get some kind of benefit. The Spy Club is actually working out pretty well. When any player discards a card from the market, I, I gain a 1 XP, so I can be doing that by myself and That's gain an XP. Powerful so I'm you. actually going to buy that. And it's a, only a one-handed um, weapon also. And that costs four, so I'm going to spend that. And hopefully, I can give myself some more XP that way without even having to fight the monster. OK, so that is the end of this turn. Allison, your first player next okay. round. Let's reset. Yep. Oh, I think Allison's going to want to spend the gold because she her power needs right. to, to fight. That I is true. No, so. I don't have a lot of gold. <laughs> Although, I can take some of these. You pulled out two gold oh, eyes. Here we go. And they are low. Oof. Oof is right. Oof. What is this roll? Allison, one, two, three, four. Wow, <laughs> what a terrible roll. Is there any armor that came up? No armor that came up. <laughs> I know, yellow. where the hell are the armor cards? There are probably some in the two dots. So when, uh, with, the, with the expansion, you have to take out 14 cards from each stack of the market, from level one and level two. So we must have ditched some armor cards. I'm going to take cards. the first player initiative. So take two gold for the gold take die. Take two gold for the gold die. For mm -hmm. the money that you'll be spending to ditch the mm. minions. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see where I want to put this baby. I think I'm going to go into strength and flip that to a six. All right, Monique. Yes. This is the one you want, and this is the one I'm going to take. <sighs> because I love you in a really messed up way. That's unpainful love. <laughs> <laughs> that really is. <laughs> All right, this is a two. And take a discount token for later. Yep. I guess we'll just get some more money. <laughs> you should be the one paying. How much money do you I know. There's have? a difference between should At least 20. and will. OK, I'm going to take these two for the gold. I'm going to take one goal for uh, completing this. Oh, OK. And then I will put this um, here, because it allows me to flip it to its four side. And then I'm going to tap the sleight of hand. And I will move it uh, here. All right. So number one, who's, that are you going to the market? Or are you going to uh, spend the go and ditch that card? That's tricky. Should I be a risk taker? How many honor tokens do you get? One. All right, well, I can buy two combat dice with six 
XP. Oh, she's gonna do it. You, you are going to roll two. I'm gonna roll two, so that would yeah. give me four. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Watch, I roll think, four ones. You think well, I you should don't do that? Just, you don't want to three and save your die to four. You save your oh, I haven't XP been rolling re-roll. pretty well on three. I've been rolling pretty terribly on right. three. But then if you just buy one, you'll have three chances to re-roll. I feel like you want to see I'm just trying to help. All right, all right. Let's try the Jackie way. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Honestly. Okay, so I will spend three XP to gain, well, I already have them here. Uh, and I'll be rolling three against this gargoyle. Let's hope it goes my way. Good luck. Ugh, ten. Perfect. And you got it. So All right, Jackie, it worked out. I owe you one. You there you go. So let's see. I take three XP. I get those back. Um, nice. I get uh, one honor token, but two because I am a brave crusader. You are so brave. And I get to see the location. And oh, now nice. we finally can fight somebody else. I mean, for each scroll card you have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Go for it, Jackie. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am not brave like the Crusader, and I'm not mischievous like the Bastia. I think I'm just gonna take, gather power, and look at the cards with money. Because you're enlightened in this life? <laughs> Plus, you know, I, I have a discount, so I can just spend one to buy this one, and I can look at the next, I can take this, because I haven't seen it, right? I'm the mm-hmm. only one. And look at this card. So that I know something that both of you already know. <laughs> this does not. Yeah, sure. it's, it's a bad one for you. It's a bad one for you. So I am next, and we're not going to fight the Phantom. Let's see. Courageous. No, that's not very good. Plus two or minus two value to any single attribute score. It's that's, not bad. It's, oh, it's five coins. Five yes. coins is nothing to you. I know, I'm a little stingy. <laughs> How did that happen? How did but I make money's a not worth anything person? at the end of the game, right? But no. you can turn them in for a um, There is a card day. that you lets can. you uh, score them four points. One card. We're going to go with loyal. Let's, we're going to yeah, <laughs> you're going to try to be take bold. some chances. All right. OK, so three coins, and now I am loyal. Oh, no. I have to move this over, huh? You're mm-hmm. fine. You can go that way. I, I would have buy this car if I could have gone that way, but I can't. OK. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So uh, this moves us over right. one. Mm-hmm. We need to get that back at some point. <laughs> now I have a trait. All right. So is that it for this round? Mm-hmm. I think so. OK. You've seen I it. I forgot. Oh. I really did. That is uh, well, decidedly I something for you. <laughs> that is oh sad. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Dice rolling games, they hate me. My favorite type of game are heavy Euros. Typically, the heavier the better, um, and typically games with like multiple paths to victory. Uh, my favorite thing to do is to try to get the most uh, private end game scoring cards and just kind of work my way towards them, racking up points. My favorite game, or at least the game I've played the most, is Glory to Rome. And a really good strategy to employ in Glory to Rome is to build up your clientele. That way your cards do the work for you without having to take additional turns.